Hello, Coach Danny here, and I have a ton of great information for you today. I want to talk about building your team and recruiting, and maybe some advice and how to's on how to do that. I know that's a subject for a lot of people when they're first starting out that they kind of feel that they get stuck on. I know I did as a new coach. So hopefully, some of the information I have today um, gives you some insight and really helps transform your business. Starting off, I want to do a little exercise. So go ahead and grab a notebook, piece of paper, pen, whatever you have laying around that you put your notes in. Okay, now I want you to write down, I want you to do a little brainstorm, brain dump, whatever you want to call it, and I want you to write down, what has Beachbody done for you? How has Beachbody changed your life? Whether it's as a customer or as a coach, I mean, since you've began your journey with Beachbody, how has that changed your life? What's different in your life? What, what's positive? What do you like about it? This could be your physical, emotional, financial, relationships. Um, I mean, anything, anything that has changed in your life for the positive since you've started your journey with Beachbody. I want you to write all of that down. So go ahead and pause it. Pause it for a few minutes and write everything down until you cannot think of anything else. No, really, go ahead and pause it. I, I need you to do this. Great. I bet you have an entire page full of things. And if you don't, maybe you should pause it again and go ahead and work on your list because there are tons of things that I'm sure have changed in your life that make you feel better and more positive. Now that you have your list, go ahead and flip to a new page so you can take notes and we'll be referring back to that list, but I'm just gonna tell you now, that is your ammo. What do I mean by that? Okay, so back it up a little bit. Here we have this amazing opportunity, you guys. We invested 140 bucks, 180 bucks into our own business. Are we treating it like this is our own business? Are you treating it like that? Or are you taking it for granted? This opportunity we have is insane. And if you're taking it for granted, you need to kind of like figure it out a little bit in your head and move forward because usually you put $50,000 down on a brand new business and it takes three years to make money. Well, I'm pretty sure that you probably got your initial investment paid off and your Shakeology paid off each month if you're hitting Success Club and then some. So pretty amazing opportunity. I hope you're not taking it for granted. How do you not take it for granted? How do you start to take advantage of everything Beachbody has to offer in terms of the coaching opportunity? You need to build your team. I know it's scary. This is not something we've ever done before, but we definitely have to learn how to do it. We have to build our team. You cannot rely on just your commissions paycheck. You have, you, your team cycle bonuses will start going higher and higher. Pretty soon they're gonna be 80%, if not more, of your commissions each week, okay? And the only way to get to that point is to build your team. Now, how do you do that? My first question for you is, how many times a week do you post about the coaching opportunity on your social media? The answer should be three to five times a week. Back in January, when I wanted to start building my team, I heard that I should post about the coaching opportunity three times a week at least. And I wanted to like get things going. So I was posting about the coaching opportunity every single day. And I was growing my team by five or six people a month. It was all because I was posting about the coaching opportunity every single day. We have to remember, we can't assume that people know what we're doing. Um, we can't assume, you know, when you're first starting to talk about your challenge groups, we can't assume that people know that they're invited to the challenge group. We have to invite them. Same thing with the coaching opportunity. We can't assume that people know that they can be a coach just like us and have all the fun we're having. We can't assume that people already know that. We have to make it easy and we have to make it obvious and invite people and make it known on our social media so that when we do talk to people, they are like, oh yeah, I've seen you talk about that. You know, it makes the conversation go much more smoother. So you're probably thinking, well, what do I post on social media? Remember that long list you just made of all the things that coaching has done for you and how it's changed your life? That is your ammo. That is what you post about on social media. If it has changed your relationships for the better, you say, oh, I'm so thankful for coaching because me and my husband have this wonderful relationship and understanding now. 
or ever since I've been a coach, I have not had to stress about money. And for the first time this holiday, I am, you know, getting gifts for everybody on my list without worrying. And then of course you have to use the disclaimer on, you know, the income claims and anything talking about money or if Shakeology for me, Shakeology helped cure my pain from my intestinal disease. And I am forever thankful. And that's why I started out as, as a coach because I wanted the discount on Shakeology. So all, again, I had to use the FDA disclaimer. So be smart about that. But there is something to talk about your list you just go through it and then repeat it and then repeat it and then repeat it. You're telling a story. You're making connective tissue. People are going to start relating to how you feel, how you felt and how you feel now. And they probably feel the way you felt and they want to feel the way you feel, but you have to share it and you have to make it obvious how coaching has changed your life. Okay. So not only posting on your social media three to five times a week about the coaching opportunity on top of your challenge group posts and all of that kind of stuff, but it's in the scripts, and I hope you're not skipping it, but at the last step, after they say yes, that they wanna join your challenge, you need to ask them if they wanna join as a customer or a coach. My Ruby coach, who is working on being Diamond right now, she started out as someone who I said, hey, do you wanna join as a customer or a coach? And she was like, well, what does it mean to be a coach? And I explained to her and how it changed my life, and she's like, sure, and here she is, and sure enough, it changed her life, look at that. Um, a lot of people have negative feelings about inviting people to the coaching opportunity for some reason. Um, they feel schemey or salesy or weird. If you feel that way, you need to go spend some time with that list of how it's changed your life and then get that crap out of your head because it's done all these positive things for you. Why are you being so selfish and keeping that to yourself? Why aren't you inviting people to have this list and have this amazing life that we all have. Why are you keeping that to yourself? That is like completely unfair and selfish of you. So if you have like this weird mental game going on that you don't want to invite people to coaching because you think that you think that they think it's going to be weird, you just need to get, get out of your own way. Put your ego aside. Look at your list of how your life has changed, all the wonderful positive things that have come from this coaching opportunity and think about that and share that. And why wouldn't you want your friends and family and random people that you're meeting on Facebook, why wouldn't you want them to have the same opportunity that you have and that I have and that Amy Silverman has and the other top coaches have? We all start in the same spot. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Why would you take that opportunity away from someone by not inviting them? And if you don't invite them, this has happened to me before, they're probably going to sign up with someone else and then you're going to kick yourself. Okay. Make sure to invite all of your challengers to the coaching opportunity. It's again, don't be scared of it. It's flattering for you to go up to someone and say, Oh my gosh, you're doing so awesome in the challenge group. All the posts you're doing right now, do you realize you're doing exactly what I do as a coach? You could be doing this and be making money. And the worst thing they can say is no, they're going to be flattered and they might say yes. And if they say no, then you just need to keep doing your job. And pretty soon, I bet they're when you follow up with them, that they're eventually going to say yes. A lot of people say no like seven times before they actually end up joining. So don't stress yourself out about it. Ask them, invite all your challengers. They're going to be flattered. Okay. Something else throughout this whole process of building your team is that your team will only grow as much as you do. So if you are slacking on your personal development, you need to wrap it up real quick. Don't go to bed until you've done your three vital behaviors each day. And that includes your personal development. There's a statistic you've probably heard that one in 10 coaches will stick around a year from now. That is completely true. And you never know who your rock star coaches are going to be. I've had people sign up and I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to be amazing. They're perfect for this. And then they quit like two months later. And then I've had people sign up for the discount and then become a diamond. So you, you can't prejudge anyone. You just have to give everybody the same opportunity. The reason I'm telling you this is because you can't kick yourself if you have someone sign up and then quit because one in 10 will only will be here a year from now. And the reason for that it's because everybody wants to be successful until they see what it takes. That's why you can't stop recruiting ever. So in order to 
build this into a business, six figure business, whatever your goals are, you have to keep recruiting. Always focus your energy on recruiting, post about the coaching opportunity, invite to the coaching opportunity, share what the coaching opportunity has done for you. Build that connective tissue with people of how you used to feel and how you feel now. That's pretty much it, you guys. So get out of your own way. Get out of your head. Quit being selfish and keeping all of this wonderful information and wonderful life changes. Quit keeping it to yourself and share it with other people.